Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. Here I'm going to show you on Circuit Wizard tutorial using digital multimeter and digital oscilloscope. I created a full wave rectifier circuit using a center tap 15 0 15 AC line source with 1 Hz for the precision waveform of the oscilloscope for the purpose of this tutorial. But in reality, the frequency of the AC line source is 60 Hz. I will add a test instrument to test the full wave rectifier's output voltage by clicking virtual instruments down below. Click and drag the digital multimeter. Connect the positive pin to the positive output of the circuit while the negative pin connects it to the ground. Then click the simulation button. As you can see, the output of the digital multimeter displays 20.75 volts. Let us turn off the simulation and add another instrument the digital oscilloscope to trace the waveform of the AC line source input and the DC output waveform using two digital oscilloscopes. To do that, select digital oscilloscope, drag it to the sheet and arrange it to make it readable. Add another oscilloscope for the output waveform. Connect it Connect the pins to the positive side while in the negative side, connect it to the ground. Then the negative. Let us configure our oscilloscope by clicking the oscilloscope object then right click then select the graph icon look for space for, for your graph click the mouse drag it all the way to your desired size of the graph then place the mouse and arrange it to make it visible Likewise to the output graph. <laughs> Arrange it. Expand. Double click the graph to change its oscilloscope parameters like volts per division and time per division since we are dealing with 15 0 15 volts the volts per division approximately positive 25 negative 25 volts with zero reference at one second time for the precision output we form but let us change the uh, label of the oscilloscope Then one second, click OK. And then to the output graph, double click, then change the label to output waveform. And co change the color to blue because the input is red, the output is blue, then 25 volts, and positive, negative 25 volts, and 1 second. Click OK. Okay. So, run the simulation button. Now, as you can see, the input waveform from the AC line source is a precision sine wave. 
while the output waveform is starting from zero increasingly until reaching the peak voltage through a filter capacitor without the load the output waveform continuously flattens let us put the resistive load of 1k by adding a resistor to the output add a resistor across the output connect positive to positive side and then the other to the negative side then simulate as you can see the oscilloscope's output waveform creates a fluctuating signal due to the unregulated output this is normal because we need other components to regulate the output enjoy exploring this software in your own application I hope you learned something about this tutorial. Watch my other tutorials on my channel. Thank you for watching it. Bye-bye.